Uh, hello, this is Hill from Trifold Production with another Blender quick tip. And in this quick tip, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually do welding in Blender with an add-on called the Welder Add-on. And I'll leave a link of it in the description below this video so you can download it yourselves. And it's not a free add-on, but it's worth the money. And I'm using Blender 2.81. And apparently, according to what I've read on the site, you can use it for it can be used for Blender 2.79. All the way up to 3.2, which is a very, very wide uh, range of uh, for Blender, just in general, when it comes to an add-on. But once you've downloaded the add-on onto your system to install it in Blender, it's just the same process. Go to Edit, Preferences, Install, and just navigate to where you've installed it on your system, and then click on Install Add-on. I've already done that, so I don't have to do it again. And then once that's done. Let me type it in, just put a check in the box and it's activated. And it's just a really simple layout too, it's just really straightforward. There's a welding option and then there's a draw option. Uh, we're not going to really deal with these here, just these two. And in order for this to work, you have to have more than one object in your scene and more than one object selected. So we have our cube here, so we're going to press shift there on our keyboard. Go to mesh and plane. Uh, press S to scale this up. Now we're going to keep our plane selected. Okay, hopefully blend is not freezing up because this. Okay, there we go. We're going to keep our plane selected. Hold down Shift and left click on our cube, and then press Weld. And you can see that it's actually added a weld to the base of our plane where the plane and the mesh or the plane and the cube meet. And as you can tell, it's getting bigger and smaller, and that happens when you move your mouse around. The The controls are just really simple, really straightforward. Just move your mouse up and down to increase or decrease the size of your weld. And once you're uh, satisfied with that particular size for the weld, left click again. It gives you another option to actually turn the weld probably concave, which is like a like almost like an upward weld, and then convex where it kind of scoops itself into the the weld and once you're satisfied with that look left click again and the, then it pretty much confirms that selection <clears throat> excuse me and that looks like a pretty good weld you can actually go further with uh, changing the look of your weld by pressing on this button that says modify so when you left click on that it gives you an option of a graph and when you left click on any uh, part of this uh, plane here it adds a point Let's left click. You can drag the point up and down. You can see as we're dragging the point, that particular point we just created, it changes the look of the weld. You can left click again on any point, point of this curve here. And it adds another uh, point to it. Once again, drag this up and down to modify the curve or the weld again, or the weld and the curve, and get a different look. So this is, is really simple really straightforward and it's really effective. Now we're going to put it to, through some tests before we do the draw option. We want to see how it works on a different shapes or different models inside of Blender. We're going to test out a sphere. I'm going to test out Suzanne because that gives us drastic models to work with. So we're going to press shift there on our keyboard. From the pop-up menu, we're going to click on uh, UV sphere. <clears throat> and choose our move gizmo drag this over let's rotate our uh, scene by holding our middle mouse button and let's zoom in by scrolling up and reposition our window by holding down the move gizmo the, of the move move the view gizmo a tongue twister left click and drag this over so we can really see our cube here or our sphere and we're going to keep our sphere selected hold down shift left click on our plane and click on weld again and once again it gives us that uh, weld at the bottom and it looks pretty good as there's no strange contouring of the weld or anything like that because it's a sphere but it really matches the sphere and the plane the weld really nicely and once we're satisfied with this look of our weld the size of it let's left click to change the shape of it this time let's go with a con uh, Vex look, which is more of a like a circular weld, and we're satisfied with the way that looks. Let's left click on that, and that looks good too. There's no pinching of the 
the world at all that looks great. And the last one we're going to test out in, is Suzanne's head. That has a lot of different of contours to it, a lot of different shapes, a lot of different sizes to it. Let's see how the world does with that particular uh, model. Let's reposition our window once again by moving out, moving there our view by holding down this hand. Shift in our keyboard again. I'm oh, sorry about that. Press cap. Shift A again. And go to mesh, and we're going to go to the monkey head. Left click and drag on the Y axis to pull her out a little bit. And we're going to pivot by holding our middle mouse button. And we're going to kind of make it a little, make it look a little bit smoother. So with Suzanne selected, let's click on our uh, modifiers. Uh, let's click on Add Modifier with our left mouse button, Subdivision Surface. And let's crank it up to 2 in the view, and then Apply. And we're going to pivot her so that she's laying kind of flat on the plane. So we're going to press on our keyboard and just move our mouse so that she lays kind of flat. Now the real test is going to be around the ears, because usually <clears throat> with an, uh, an add-on or any kind of actually uh, mesh or model in Blender, corners like this cause some kind of uh, deformation in a mesh, and it makes it look pretty bad, but we're going to see how well the weld add-on does around this corner especially. So with Suzanne Select, we're going to hold down Shift on our keyboard left click on our plane and click on weld and so okay it does really good it's actually pretty smooth around her ears here and once we're satisfied with that size let's left click to confirm uh, that size and let's go to a convex look again by having that scooped weld in there left click on that and let's see how this looks around her ears especially and it looks great around the ears. There's no pinching around the ears, no deformation in the weld. It looks really smooth, really nice. Uh, even around her mouth too. That that looks like an actual weld, or, or like a real life weld, uh, in the concave of her mouth. That looks great. Uh, there's no issues at all with this one, and it works really good. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try out the draw parts. So we're going to click on our plane here and click on draw. And in order for this to work on the plane, just left click and drag. And it's continuous. It's a continuous uh, draw. You can't just draw one line, then uh, lift your finger off your mouse and draw another line. It's just going to connect everything together, which is fine. And we've got this look. So we're going to left click to actually get the different size and once you left click it tries to connect the ends together so you have to keep that in mind I left clicking then we one we're good with the size now the convex or concave look we want to see how that looks to left click again to confirm that and it does a good job even with the places where it's intersecting there's no weird uh, deformation in the weld it still looks really good so yeah this is an actually this actually is a really great add-on and it works fine, uh, has no issues with it at all. And unless, like let's say, four works for, from 2.7 all the way to 3.2, which is phenomenal. So I'll leave a link of this in the description of this video so that you guys can download it and uh, try it out. And hope, hopefully, this uh, add-on, this tutorial is helpful for you, those of you who are watching. Once again, I thank you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, those of you who are subscribing in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.